how do I read the Bible? It's a question that a lot of people ask, even people who have been following Jesus for years. How do I make sense of this Bible thing? Well, the first place to start is, of course, to actually have a Bible to read. Now, we've live in an era where there are all sorts of online options for Bibles, and we've got a couple of those linked below for you, resources where you can read the Bible online, but a great place to start with reading the Bible is to actually have a Bible to read. And we have Bibles that you can have for free at here at Arise. We'd love for you to pick one up so that you can begin reading. Now, when it comes to reading the Bible, you need to know a couple of things. The first is that the Bible wasn't written in English. It was written in Hebrew and Greek and possibly another language called Aramaic. But as you read the Bible, you're going to read it in English. And so something to know as you dig in is that all Bibles that we read are translations. And all translations involve a little bit of interpretation. And all translations are a little bit different. And so one of the things that we want to do here at Arise is help you find a Bible translation that works well for you, that speaks to you, that helps you understand the message that God has in your in Bible for you. So uh, I or any of the elders or staff would be happy to sit down and talk with you about which Bible translation would be good for you. Here at Arise, we tend to use the New International Version and the English Standard ver Version, although we mix it up from time to time as well. But we'd love to help you find a translation that really helps God speak to your soul. All right, so once you have access to a Bible and, and once you have the right kind of Bible to read, the next step is to begin reading. But before you do that, I always encourage people, spend a moment. It doesn't have to be anything long. It doesn't have to be anything formal. But spend a moment in prayer asking God to help you understand the words that you're about to read. So start with prayer, and then crack open that Bible. Uh, if, you're a, if you're new to Christianity, if you're new to following Jesus, I strongly recommend that you start in the New Testament, perhaps the Gospel of John. That would be a great place to start. Uh, the Gospel of Luke is another great place to start. If you're if you're new to faith and trying to figure out what this Christianity thing is, or you're not even a, a part of uh, the followers of Jesus yet, and you're trying to figure out who this Jesus guy is, start with the Gospels. Start with Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. If you're a little more seasoned Christian, there are, uh, you can, of course, read anywhere at any point, but if you're a little more seasoned Christian, that, uh, that Old Testament, the first part of the Bible, can have a lot of information for you and can be very informative as well. So start with prayer, then dig in, start reading. And as you read, consider the context. The context of what you're reading is the stuff surrounding it. It's all sorts of things. It's, it's something as simple as, hey, if you're reading a verse, make sure you read the verse before and the verse after to kind of figure out what's going on. Context is also the background information that helps us make sense of a passage. It's the history, the literature, the archeology, span uh, the biology, geology, the geography, uh, it's all the stuff that comes together and helps us make sense of what the passage is saying. So start with prayer, dig in, consider the context, and then when you inevitably come across a passage that you don't understand, talk to someone. Consult uh, your pastor or a friend. This is a great uh, reason to be in a small group so that you can have some people to talk to about what's going on in a passage. There are also these things called commentaries that can be really helpful if you're doing continuous study in a particular area of the Bible, a particular passage or book or section. So that's what I would encourage you to do. How do you read the Bible? You start with prayer, you dig in, you consider the context, and if you need help, you have a conversation with someone, maybe even consulting a commentary. The Bible is an amazing, tool. It's an amazing way for us to hear from God, to understand who he is and what he's done and how he continues to work in the world. And I know that your Bible reading is going to be a fruitful, amazing endeavor. We've got some resources below this video to help you as you dig into reading the Bible. I want to encourage you, pick up the Bible, start reading today, grab your phone, download an app, 
grab a hard copy, start reading, and hear the message that God has for you today.